In this video, I'm going to plan out my week on one page in my Erin Condren monthly planner. I'm going to try a different layout than I have been trying. So if you've been following along, this will be a little bit different. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you're subscribed and I'll be right back. Hi, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Kristen. I post functional planning videos on my channel three times a week. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you. So this week is going to be week four in my Erin Condren monthly planner. So I've got not much going on as far as appointments. Really the only thing I have to do is drop my husband off at the airport early on Friday morning. And so I thought this would be a good opportunity to try something a little bit different. So this is the current week. Today is Friday when I'm filming this and I haven't been doing too well on my to-do list here. I've just been doing other things. Um, I've got the rest of the weekend to work on this. So eh, I'm not really that worried about it. I've got some stuff pre-planned here a little bit um, and we'll talk about that in a second. And let me get the stickers out that I plan to use this week. Still working on kit 501 from Planner Kate. I have learned my lesson as far as how many stickers I need to order if I'm going to buy stickers. So um, I'm going to use this box and this box and the rest of the snowflake themed stuff that I can and then whatever else I need to use and then I think I will put this away because most of it is going to be pretty like neutral solid just like plain designs and it's stuff that I can use another time and it won't feel super wintry this is going to be the last week in a row that you see me using this so if you're sick of these stickers sorry I'm learning what I need to order and what I don't need to order you know I, I feel like a lot of people might have that problem based on the amount of like kits and extra stickers and things I see on like buy sell trade groups on Facebook. It seems like people are buying what works for them like in advance, but then their planning style changes and they don't need all those stickers anymore or they're just over buying because it's so easy, especially when there's a sale and a coupon code, it's so easy to just buy all the things because they're cute. I'm just reflecting on my sticker buying and sticker consumption, I guess you could say. And I'm realizing that I really need to not like do this to myself again because I kind of get bored with it. But let's, um, let's move on with the planning. So I am going to do, I've been doing the same layout for the past three weeks, but I'm gonna do something completely different. So I've got my little pre-plan list here and I have this that I've just been moving week to week and I'm not using for anything. So I'm just kind of like going to stick it up here on the dashboard because I don't really have another week left um, to put it on. Um, this is just my filming cue, which I will just set off to the side for now. And then this is just something that I need to, it goes with a form I need to fill out for my son. So I'm gonna stick that off to the side as well. So now we have our blank slate and I'm going to, like I said, I wanna use all of the snowflake stuff. And so I've got snowflake stuff on these three sheets and then the rest of these are pretty like neutral, I guess you could say. So let's do the washi at the top the way we did over here. And of course I have to turn it like all the way over on its side to be able to see what I'm doing. And then I'm just gonna get my scissors out of my planning basket and cut this end off. And I see that now that I'm doing this, I didn't, um, I didn't get enough I don't think I'm gonna use these little scraps of weird shaped washi. So um, I actually need to pull this up because I could see that I was over the top. I need to line it up better with the top of the page so it's not sticking off. 
Maybe I should have lined it up with the corner. Um, okay, that's good enough. And then I liked what I did. I've got too much stuff in my way already. I liked how I did these little flags here um, with the week number better than that. So I'm gonna do that again. And I layered it on the thicker washi. I layered that on a little box and that was off of this sheet. So I'm gonna do that again because I did like that. And I wanna put it up towards the top here. All right, and then week four, these are Planner Kate week number stickers, STK 108. I have these because I labeled all of my months with the week numbers on the side here. And then the some months have a week that straddles both spreads. And so I had to buy two sheets so that I would have enough because there's a week 26 in June as well. And so the leftovers I'm just using to label my weekly pages. On days when I'm not gonna have one, I'll just write it in, no big deal. Okay, so now for, oh, I wanted to do this flag at the top. Let's do, how did I do that before? Oh, I just did it like that. Cause I was covering up something, I think. Yeah, I was covering up that that washi didn't go all the way to the edge. Um, maybe I won't use the flag because it's going to come down into what I'm doing here. So I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so let's talk about how I'm going to structure this page out. So I had my weekly overview. Let me close my blinds real quick because there's like shadows on the page. So last week and the weeks previous, I have been doing this little like sidebar weekly overview and what is going on with the sun? It keeps changing. <laughs> this week I'm inspired by this box that I wanted to use up because of the whole snowflake situation. This is for a compact vertical and it's meant to go in like that note section of the compact vertical spread. Um, I had asked in the last plan with me what people thought that I might use it for. Amanda Lynn suggested putting it horizontally like here. And I think that's an awesome idea. So that is actually what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna put it down first. Actually, this is miscut. I might need to get out my slice tool. Let's see if I can't get it off without tearing it because it would be a shame to not to mess it up when it's the whole inspiration for the spread. Okay, so I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it down. I'm gonna line it up with the edge of the lines and this bottom line. Can you hear that airplane? <laughs> it's like a little small plane and it's like super loud right above my house. Okay. So with this box here like this, I now have 16 lines and how I wanna use those 16 lines. Over here, I was giving each day of the week four lines. So here I wanna do two rows of eight lines and then break that up into three. And that's gonna be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then the weekend. And then this will be just like a little, notes and sidebar kind of area. I usually say this in all my videos, but in case you're new, I am not very schedule based in my planning. I am very task based. So most of my planning is like 90% checklists. So what I wanna do here is make just checklists. The way the compact vertical kind of is, it's like a, it's like a quadrant of just lines and a lot of people just use it as like a to-do list kind of. And we'll put like the one appointment or so that they have and then they use the rest of the space as their daily checklist. So I'm gonna try that this week instead of having the weekly running to-do list. And I'm gonna see how that works. I happen to have six, exactly six of these checklist stickers left. So that's nice that I can use those up. And there are eight check boxes, so it's perfect. Like it's exactly what I need. So I'm going to 
do this and then I need to line it up. If you line up this, the check boxes in between each line, they will fit just right. And I'm gonna do this one. And then to space it across, I need basically two and one eighth of an inch for each little column here. I'm going to use my Erin Condren ruler here and I'm just going to measure out two and an eighth and put my stickers down that way. Okay, and then I need two and an eighth from this one. Oh, let's not put it upside down. And it doesn't have to be exact, obviously. Okay. All right, now let me put these down. And then we will put, then I will be able to get the, like the date headers. This one I can't, for some reason, cannot get lined up correctly. Okay, and now I'm gonna take the last of my, these things, <laughs> and I'm going to, I'm gonna get tweezers since they're so tiny, and I'm going to put them over this top checklist box because I need space for the day. And this one will go here. Twenty-seven. So those are my weekdays and then on my weekend I'm just gonna have the one checklist for the weekend and so I don't have I could use like both of these flags that say 28 and 29 but instead I think I'm just going to use a sticker and let me see I had this one that I pulled off I don't like that that doesn't really fit these ones are skinny, and I think that will cover that pretty well. Maybe I'll cut that off. How about that? Let's use the slice tool. To cut this top score checklist box, check box off and then I will center this skinny box over the top. Typically what happens is the weekend just kind of becomes the day that I finish all the stuff that I didn't get to. So I don't need as many check boxes for the weekend, like each day, because the, all that stuff is gonna be on here anyway. And then I'm gonna, just to make it look even, I'm gonna put these stickers on, a, for, and then right in the days of the week. I have days of the week scripts, but I'm just gonna use these instead and just write 
with my hand. <laughs> and I like that I'm using these stickers too because I have a ton of these plain labels in this color scheme. So it, it's nice that they're getting used. And let's see, let me write it with my Pilot G2.38, like the super fine tip. And we will write, I should have written on them before I put them on here because now the coil's kind of in my way, but that's okay. I'm using this fine point because these stickers are so small and the fine point helps me, you know, write in that little tiny box easier than the big juicy point, but I prefer the big juicy point. And then for the weekend, I'm just going to write weekend. Actually, I was just thinking, what if I put both of the flags on either side? Let's see what, how that looks. I might not like it, but whatever, you know? <laughs> Okay, that's fine. And then that way I'll be able to reference the date if I need to. Okay, and what else do we have on here? So there's a lot of like little scripts. Honestly, I think all of these are gonna end up in my reusable sticker album. And then, yeah, I've got these two hearts I can use and a couple of little four checklists, which I'll probably use in here. And then I have this quote box that I just wrote a quote in it already, just so I wouldn't be sitting here writing it. The quote says, do something today that your future self will thank you for. I really liked that because I've been kind of struggling getting back into my normal routine this month. And I kind of feel like this quote speaks to that, like it will, um, if, you know, if I read it, it might jog my memory as to why I'm trying to stick to a routine because it helps my future self. Um, the biggest thing being like meal prep. Um, I have a slightly special diet and it helps that I pre cook things. Um, and then when I'm working from home and all that kind of stuff, I don't have to like, scramble when I'm hungry <laughs> like and then I end up just eating junk or not eating enough because I don't feel like cooking something and so I just need to meal prep you know so I just need to get back onto my routine it's the same for the cleaning and like self-care all kinds of stuff I've just been like a mess lately Okay, all of these headers, I don't think I need any of these, and so those will go into my reusable album too, as well as this hydrate sticker. I don't really track stuff. This will just go on my habit tracker graveyard page in my reusable album in case I ever do feel like doing that. These are all nice and plain, and this thin washi will match those and these will match those. So I don't think I'm gonna use many of those stickers. I think what I'm gonna do for the rest of this is I'm going to fill out the things that I need to do specifically, such as, and let's switch to this thick pen. This is a Sharpie S gel that Yvette sent me. She's at the Planner Mommy on uh, Instagram and I always use a G2 number 10 um, it's just very juicy this one is not as juicy but I didn't I had it and I, my my other number 10 ran out so I'm just gonna use this one so Friday morning I need to take my husband to the airport and I just thought it might be cute to put a little airplane there if I have one I don't remember what I have left in my album here as far as travel 
related stickers, if I have any, actually. I thought I had like a page of travel, come on. Here it is. There's an airplane. It's kind of big though. You know what I'm gonna do? I'll just use like the heart or something off of that one page. Or I could use the car. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use the small car and cut the script off of it. Because even though it's the airport, um, I am, whoops, I am driving him to the airport, so. Sure, and then I'm just gonna write airport. And Monday is groceries and food prep day. Let's see what kind of stickers I have for that. Because I know there aren't any on here. Monday is also a payday. So I'm just gonna set that there for a second. Oh, I'm gonna use one of these. Let's do that. Here, watch. Let's use this dark blue one and just put it like over here like this. Okay, and then I'm looking for, I'm gonna use this little tiny crock pot situation to indicate meal prep. Um, let's use these two trash cans because the trash needs to go out. Here I am layering stickers like ridiculously and maybe I should not do that. Trash and recycle on Thursday. Those happen to match so I'm just using them even though, yeah. Groceries, meal prep. I've got a sticker that says meal prep, so let's use it. Normally I would just write this since I don't have a script for everything, nor do I think I need a script for everything, but because I have them, yeah. So I'm just gonna write out <laughs> because I already have the icon that indicates I'm talking about the trash and the trash and the recycle. So I just need to put that out in the morning. I don't put my cans at the curb. Um, actually, I don't put cans at the curb at all because we never have enough trash. I usually just carry the bag out there. And because of that, I put them out in the morning, like right before, the, the, um, right before they come because um, that way animals won't get in there. Um, I'm gonna see, I have this little cart icon, but I think it's too big, yeah. <clears throat> so I'm just going to write groceries. Okay. And the photos. <laughs> so this is silly. So I've been writing pick up photos on my um, list every week, but I get them done at Walmart and they're having some kind of issue with their photo printer and they keep telling me, oh, they'll be ready next week and they're never ready. So yeah, I'm just, here, let me move these stickers down because picking up photos goes with um, groceries because I get my groceries at Walmart. So let me write. 
pick up photos because I know that's not going to happen this week. Everything else here is going to happen this weekend. Um, the dentist actually, I'm going to put that on Tuesday to follow up. I've, I've got some messages out and some questions um, as I look for a new dentist. So I'm going to say follow up dentist on Tuesday. I'll give them Monday to respond and if I need to follow up on Tuesday I will do that. And then um, Monday I'm going to edit. Do I have scripts for that? Um, yeah, let me use these. I'm going to edit on Monday. Oh, I don't like that. It's too big. Does a small one fit? I'm not going to use these because I don't have two and I need more than one. So Monday I'm going to edit anything I film today. Today is Friday the 20th that I'm filming this and then I usually f edit that like immediately after I film it. This video that you're watching, I'll film it and then edit it that same day and upload it and get it ready for Monday. And then anything else I film, anything else I film on Friday, I just push to edit on Monday. I do like to have some videos like in the queue ready to go um, instead of kind of doing them um, You see I'm doing two things at once. I like to have videos in the queue ready to go instead of like doing them at the last minute and especially because later in February we're going to be traveling and I'm not going to be able to film at all that week or the following week partially. So I just want to have some videos ready which means I do film things like I film a few videos in a day and then I edit them and get them scheduled to go out as necessary. That's just a long way of saying I need to edit Friday's videos. <laughs> Here I am rambling. I am fixing this. I don't like how I wrote this in that fine point and then everything else is a bolder point. I just don't like it. So lesson learned. This bold point is fine. The fine point is helpful for like the monthly view because it's a much smaller box but I just prefer a bold print. I don't really like this pen as much as I like the G2 number 10. It kind of feels dry and it does skip a little bit. I think that has to do with how hard I push down when I write though. Um, like if you're heavy handed, I'm, I'm pretty heavy handed and I think that is what causes it to skip. Because a lot of, a, a lot of people love these Sharpie S gels and they're probably just not as heavy handed as I am. All right. Um, and then everything else is, yeah, this little um, sticky note that I have this calendar on, I think it can just stay there because this stays open on my desk and um, I'll be able to see that. So what am I going to put in here? What I'm going to put in here is the stuff that I put like over here. So I want to have a spot for a few dinners and a spot for some YouTube tasks. But see, the YouTube tasks actually should go on the days I need to do them. So let me do that. Um, so Mondays I need to share the video. Tuesdays I need to do comments. And then I'm also filming on Tuesdays. And then Wednesday I need to share the video that comes out on Wednesday. And then Wednesday I edit the stuff that I filmed on Tuesday. Thursday is comments. And then if I'm 
if I need to do any errands or I have an appointment or something, it's usually the day I do that kind of stuff, but I don't have anything that I need to do this week. Um, Friday, I need to share the video that comes out on Friday. And the weekend, I just need to do um, comments from Friday's video. I've been pretty bad about this lately and I haven't been, I've been getting around to doing comments like once a week and then it gets kind of overwhelming. Um, I prefer to do it the day after the video because then I don't have that many to answer and I just feel like it's just a better experience to do it like, you know, a day at a time. So now you can see that I have a lot of things that I want to do on Monday. Putting the trash out doesn't like take up like a whole big chunk of my day like at all and then Picking up the photos goes with groceries, so that's not really two separate things, but I just need to remind to remember to do them because just because of that weird situation. And then the meal prep is going to take a while, and then editing will take a little bit. So I do have like a decent amount of stuff to do in addition to the stuff that I need to do anyway, like daily cleaning tasks and stuff like that that I keep track of in my Google tasks and then any work I might need to do. Um, so on the rest of these days, then I can just add stuff as it comes up the way I would here on the running to-do list. So that's kind of how that's gonna work. I'm just gonna keep going. Each day that I come up with something, if I know it needs to be done a certain day, I'll add it to that day. If not, I'm just gonna add it to the next available slot. So now I don't need to do like this little checklist that has comments on it. Um, maybe I can make a list of like the three videos um, in case I don't want to open up my Google, um, my Google calendar. So let me do, I need a spot for dinners and a spot for videos. So let's use these two. Actually, I should cut these on this paper because I only need three dots each. So which I don't really even need checklists, but whatever, that's what that's what we have, so that's what we're gonna do. And I was thinking I could just use this, but I have the checklists. So how about a header to break it up? Um, we've got these. What if I used these and then covered it up with the script? I think I've figured out before that that doesn't work. Um, like my YouTube stuff script. Like, will that work to cover up? Like, I could do the bills do because I will probably never need to use that. Okay. YouTube stuff, and then a checklist for that. And then the other one can be for dinner, which I also have a script for that I can use. One of these days I will have this nice and organized, but today is not that day and next week is not that day. <laughs> Uh, let's put this over. Um, we need a shorter one. Organize. Sure. I can see the lines actually. Let me do that. So I can see the lines through this sticker. I want to line up my stuff with that.
There we go. And then let's put this down. Okay, so this first one is the plan with me that you're watching. And then Wednesday's video, I feel like is my monthly review kind of video. Yes, okay. So Wednesday's video is the monthly review. And then Friday's video is the February plan with me. I'm really excited about the monthly review video. I haven't filmed it yet. I'm like excited to film it. I'm really excited to like go, go over the past month and see how far I've come with my goals and like review my Kanban board and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. I'm just excited to do it. Um, which brings me to the next thing is don't I, I didn't even review this very much. So uh, Monday groceries and payday, film and edit, planning time. So Thursday night, I was gonna do a monthly review. So wait a minute, how can I do my monthly review on Thursday night? What am I doing here? Let's see, Thursday is the 26th. Wednesday, yeah, that's so I need to actually do my monthly review on Tuesday night or I can do it Tuesday when I'm filming. Okay, so let me fix that in my monthly spread. I must have not realized when I did that that I was going to have that video on Wednesday. And I will put that here. Planning time. All right. <laughs> Crisis averted. So that means um, this day is. Well, there's my dishwasher. Man, my dishwasher has been really been acting up lately and it is kind of freaking me out. I am not ready to buy a new dishwasher. I guess I need to start looking up what kind of dishwasher I want. Oh, not looking forward to that. Um, planning time. Um, that's kind of too big for that spot and it covers up the word comments a little bit. Oh, darn. Oh well. It'll go on in my reusable book. It'll get used eventually. Okay, and then now I also have, um, I usually list what I'm reading, but I have been flying through books lately. I'll show you my book notes page. And this, there's gonna be a video on how I set these notes pages up. Um, I already filmed it, but it's scheduled for sometime in February, so. This is my reading list. I have read six books so far. I have finished six books so far in January and today is the 20th. So I'm pretty proud of myself for that. Um, three of them have been audiobooks. So it's easy to listen to audiobooks like when I'm walking and stuff. So it's been, and I listen to them at double speed, so I'm able to get through them. So now let's look at this list that I've already kind of made a note about. So I have all of this on here. Bookmarks was something from my digital organization project, but that's done, so I marked it off. I have a Michael's voucher I don't want to forget about. Um, it's only $5, but there's always crafty stuff I need, so I kind of feel like I should. Um, I kind of feel like I should use it, but if I go to Michael's to spend the $5, I'm going to end up spending a lot more. Let's put that here. And then I'm waiting on 
Um, my son has something due on the third, which is the following week, but I'm waiting for him to bring home the form. So I can't really do anything about it. And once I get the form, then I'll write it down. But I mean, I have it written down here, so no big deal. Okay, and everything else. Let's see what I'm doing here. So I am working on the dentist. I finished that book. Thrifting frames is not working out for me. I, I need to rethink that whole project. And then everything else I think is gonna just kinda get done this weekend. And if it doesn't, then I'll just move it to the next list. So what do you think about that? I like this. I'm gonna see how I, I, okay. I like the concept of this. It's what I wanted in like the compact vertical, but I like that it's on one page. I like that it's not like this huge spread where I'm just gonna keep adding more and more things to each day. And um, of course I just like that I'm using up stickers. I think if I, if I do this spread again, I won't use as many stickers, but honestly, I'm just trying to use them up. So um, I still, I really like it. I'm, I'm happy with the concept of this. Let's see how it turns out in use next week. And then um, I will either talk about that in the following plan with me or definitely in the January flip through video where I flip through my planners to see how I used them in the month of January. So stay tuned for that. And um, look at all the stickers I have left here. I'm not super happy with myself that I have so many stickers left. Um, I just got excited. I wanted to try the new things and I'm happy that I tried the things, but now I know I need to settle down with that. <laughs> um, at least I like these colors and at least most of these things are pretty neutral as far as design goes. I think what I'm gonna end up doing is put these in my reusable album as well as the scripts and then I will consolidate the rest of these functionals and these journal pieces onto one sheet. Probably this sheet because the washi is there. I don't know, we'll see. Because there's not gonna be enough room. I might, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how that works out. I might just keep them all together. I just like to have fewer sheets so that when I'm planning with them, I'm not flipping through them constantly. Um, Let's do one more thing. Can I use one of these arrows or are they huge? This one seems kind of small. I wish they weren't all pointing the same way. Like it would have been cool if they like, when they were making this sheet, if they would have reversed some of these arrows so they could be used differently um, because they're all pointing the exact same way. So when I go pick up groceries, I need to remember to pick up my photos. <laughs> Um, oh, I didn't write my dinners in. I think dinners for this week is like chili. Yeah, so we're gonna have, see what I mean by the skipping? And then if I write really lightly, <laughs> it works, but that's not how I write, so it's kind of a pain. Um, Pokey bowls. And chicken mushroom rice. So I'm just gonna put chicken mushroom. Okay, and now I have a little bit of note space here that I can make a note. Like I made a note that it was gonna rain this weekend and I wrote down the word bivouac cause I heard it and I thought it was a cool word. And I don't know, I just do stuff like that. And so, yeah, that's it. Um, I reviewed all this stuff. I just feel like I'm missing something and I don't know what it is. Um, I reviewed all this stuff and made sure it got put in the calendar. So yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, please consider subscribing. I post functional videos on my channel three times a week and I would love to see you in the next one. Okay, bye.